good morning to all of you on behalf of uh, management amrita vishwavidyalaya pitam and uh, faculty department of mathematics i extend a very warm welcome to all the resource persons and uh, participants department of mathematics is currently running uh, five programs two are integrated one is integrated mathematics and another one is integrated data science and uh, three pg programs it is uh, one is msc mathematics one is uh, msc applied statistics and data analytics another one is uh, right from this academic year we have introduced one um, uh, flagship program that is uh, msc in data science with logistics and uh, supply chain management so this um, added uh, programs particularly integrated data science uh, applied statistics and data analytics and this logistic programs uh, often uh, motivate us to go for uh, or expedite um, various um, events like workshops uh, seminars and even conferences that's what we had uh, uh, earlier and this is unique uh, one that uh, the summer school uh, for the first time we are uh, having it today so i am so happy and uh, really i am i am i am so happy to congratulate dr swamasundaram and his team uh, in advance uh, for a successful conduct of uh, this event thank you very much thank you now uh, start the first session professor rangadesh maybe introduce about the acm and then we'll go ahead on that hello good morning <coughs> welcome to acm india summer school um since it's an acm program i thought i'll start with saying a little bit about acm and acm india so how many people have heard of acm okay many of you how many people are members of acm wow okay yeah it so happens that i'm also the president of the acm india council um acm is the world's largest association of computer science professionals um among other things it awards for example the turing award this is a nobel prize in computing this is awarded by acm acm has also a number of nearly about 10 15 awards acm india was started in 2010 um so this is like 13th year to focus on india specific activities and in the last about 5 6 years the activities really have exploded i'll give you a sample of some of these activities you can look at um, the details of uh, all this in this india.acm.org and uh, the whole acm india is managed by a, a council elected council and a whole bunch of committees So, what are the summer winter schools for? This started, I think, about five six years ago. Um, this is basically we, uh, you know, get people highly motivated, typically senior undergrad students, and to expose them to high quality researchers and advanced research happening in the country in the world, and to also to share the excitement of research career. And the, the first. bullet point is also important to inculcate problem solving so that's why we pay a lot of importance to the tutorials and uh, you know i don't we will do an introduction to find out where all you are coming from you know different institutions have different level of problem solving in their um, courses so you will see uh, there's a lot of emphasis on uh, even even the whole lectures will be all about problems and solving problems and that will be um, replicated also in the tutorial sessions so here are some samples of uh, summer schools uh, you can see a lot about them in the website so for example just something that got over algorithmic techniques in computational biology this year and this whole you know typically these schools are in a variety of trending topics and uh, every offering there is a, a school exclusively for women good to see some decent 
proportion of women. So uh, now, so that's what summer schools are about. Let me just also highlight some of the uh, other possibly relevant activity for you. So ACM also has a number of about 200 odd chapters. So if you don't have a chapter in your college, maybe you should um, convince your uh, you know faculty members. Right? Yeah. You have no, I, but the participants I don't know they from different uh, places. It's good to have some chapter very uh, and you know we have what is called an eminent speaker program. So there is a list of eminent speakers in the website you will see uh, spanning academics and industry professionals. So you can for example call them to give a talk in your chapter activities and ACM India will take care of all the expenses. Typically chapters run hackathons, programming co contests and recently we also introduced awards for good best performing chapters, best website, emerging chapter, etc. I realize there are some uh, PhD students here. So there's a lot of activities for PhD students. There, there is something called PhD clinic. This is like really this medical clinic, you know, typically in many, you know, institutions, India has a variety of institutions. You may be a lone PhD student getting lost in your work. You may not understand why your papers are not getting accepted. You don't know whether you are going in the right direction. So PhD clinic is a, a facility by which there are about 20, 30 mentors willing to mentor you. So you can opt to have a one-on-one -on -one session with a mentor. Um, it doesn't matter. You don't have to be an ACM member. You can be a PhD student anywhere. You just have to send a mail to this uh, mail address in the website. And then they will connect you with the mentor and you spend an hour session with the mentor asking all kinds of questions, not necessarily in your research problem. It could be about, you know, how do I succeed in research to what are the kind of careers to how do I get my papers accepted? How do I read a paper? How do I give a talk? All kinds of questions you can ask and uh, with the mentor and um, if necessary, you can have multiple clinics. Uh, with possibly different mentors if you like. Um, there is something called Anveshan Setu, which is an extension of uh, PhD clinic, thereby some of the selected PhD students are uh, given funding to go and visit institutes, tier one institutes and spend, you know, two to three weeks with some mentors. Your, uh, ACM also has a travel grant to support students to go to international conferences and there is also an annual best doctoral dissertation award given by ACM. <coughs> there is an academic research and careers for students. It's a conference. Uh, it's a two day conference where you have PhD student presentations, panel discussions, early career researcher talks, research student centric panel discussions, typically about funding relationship various other things. The doctoral dissertation awardee gives talks in this arc and this is held typically with ACM India annual event and it is uh, usually in uh, February. This time it is in uh, Bhuvaneshwar, February 2024. The, the last one was in Bhopal. So for example, for the February 2024 event, we already have an acceptance from this year Turing Award winner, Bob Metcalf, who is one of the founders of Ethernet. Okay, so these are some of the events if you are a PhD student to pay attention to. Ah, maybe this is also a good time to mention. So from <clears throat> this year onwards, we have a new program by which the best performers in summer and winter schools, you know, through some metric tutorial sessions. You will identify them and they are given all paid expenses to attend this ARCs and annual event. Okay. And there are programs for colleges and teachers we have. Uh, there is a certificate program in CS education. This is anchored by IIIT Delhi. ACM supports it. This is semester long lectures and tutorials by expenses. It is like this faculty development program, but it is a whole semester long <coughs> sometimes. Uh, there are various models being tried out on various foundational topics. There is a teaching partnership program we have where experts jointly teach courses with the local faculty on specific courses. For example, 
I think in Amrita Computer Science Networks, there was a faculty from Persistent Systems who jointly taught. So, so, so this is different from jointly teaching where the local teacher is the responsible person for the whole course, but the ACM resource person will mentor the teacher and give a few lectures and also work with the teacher on the resources and material, problem sheets, ass assessment, interesting uh, videos or whatever. So there is also a compute and annual conference devoted to education and there are interesting faculty development programs. Yeah, um, ACM represents not just academics, there is a lot of industry professionals also we catered to, so there are a number of programs for industry. So one thing I would say is ACM industry mini graph which is a something between a survey and a monograph, some small booklets on various areas being brought out. Uh, ACM also actively looks at, there is an education committee, it uh, uh, brainstorms on policies and maybe even works with uh, the policy developers. There is an annual award for early career researcher, women achiever, best teacher, chapter awards, webinars, women speaker program. Is also a program for computing in schools. Okay, so several years ago, computer science in schools was, you know, Excel, Word, and PowerPoint. Maybe at best Java or something. But the CS Patshala is uh, a forum which has actually developed curriculum for computer science in schools. And we have turned the curriculum in computer science in schools to logic and puzzles and combinatorics and graph theory and discrete math, all kinds of things. So this is making an interesting influence on school education. Okay, I think that's all I have on. Um, oh, there is an ACM Women, which is a completely separate committee, and there are a lot of events targeted towards women in. Um, computer scientists. Yeah, so here is, you can send me email for any comments, but um, that is all about, uh, in a nutshell on ACM, you can look at more details in the website. <coughs> Thank you. Professor.